Today we will show you how to disassemble your force trolling motor assembly for exchange and how to reassemble the new trolling motor. We recommend two people for this process. The stow support, propeller, and skeg are to be removed and kept when the trolling motor is exchanged. The transducer is not to be removed from the trolling motor and is included with the new trolling motor. All mounting hardware used to secure the subassembly of the trolling motor shaft to the mount are not to be returned. This includes all bushings, pins, nuts, bolts, spacers, and washers. You will need a number one and number two Phillips screwdriver, 14 millimeter socket and wrench, a three millimeter hex bit, a torque wrench, and two four millimeter or five 30 second inch hex bits or wrenches. Warning, when assembling the motor, you must use non-power tools to install all the parts, observing the torque specifications when provided. Using power tools to assemble the motor may damage the components and voids the warranty. Disconnect the trolling motor from power. You will need to remove the skeg from the trolling motor. Remove the four screws using the four millimeter hex wrench. Then, remove the propeller using the 14 millimeter wrench or socket. Make sure to keep all screws, washers, anode, and nut of the skeg and propeller parts. Check out our video for help installing the propeller. Deploy your trolling motor. Next, remove the four screws securing the two cable brackets to the mount using a 3 millimeter hex bit wrench. Pull the power cable out of the channel. Now disconnect the transducer cable from your char plotter. Pull the transducer cable out of the channel. Now place the trolling motor in the stowed position. Then remove the lower gas spring. Use the number two Phillips screwdriver to remove the two screws. Keep these screws. They will be needed for the reassembly. Remove the lower gas spring from the rod. Now, carefully deploy the trolling motor. Your force trolling motor will be much heavier with the lower gas spring removed. Remove the screws securing the top pin to the servo using two 4mm hex bit wrenches. Carefully remove the pin to ensure the trolling motor does not swing. Now, remove the 6-pin data cable connected to the e-box. Lift the top of the scissor mount back, exposing the top gas spring. Remove the two screws. Make sure to keep these screws once removed for reassembly. Remove the upper gas spring from the rod. The trolling motor will be connected to the bottom pin of the servo and mount. First, we will remove the pull cable. Remove the two screws on the handle using a number one Phillips screwdriver. Make sure to keep all parts of the pull cable and handle together for reassembly. Then remove the R pin and washer. Remove the pull cable from the handle. Using two people, push the bottom pin from the mount, allowing the subassembly to be removed from the mount and boat. Now it's time to install the new subassembly. Using two people, lift the assembly to align with the lower portion of the mount. Slide the pin through the hole to secure it to the mount. Insert the pull cable into the hole of the servo. Then, reassemble the handle using the number one Phillips screwdriver. Now, place the rod of the upper gas spring on the corresponding hole. Tighten the screws. Bring the top of the scissor mount back down and insert the top pin into the assembly. 
Place the bolt and washer, then secure the top pin using the two 4mm hex wrenches. The sub-assembly is now secured to the scissor mount. Now carefully stow the trolling motor. The trolling motor will be heavier due to the lower gas spring being disconnected. Place the rod of the lower gas spring in the corresponding hole and tighten both screws. Route your transducer cable through the cable channel. Plug in the transducer cable back into the chart plotter. Then route the power cable. Secure the cables using the cable brackets. Then connect the 6-pin data cable back to the e-box. Now install the propeller. Make sure to tighten the lock nut to 6 foot-pounds with the torque wrench. Finally, install the skeg using the 4mm hex bed. Connect your trolling motor back to power. And that's it. Thanks for watching. For more help, please visit marinesupport.garmin.com.